Everyone loves the sights of a jungle or a forest. The lovely green and the vibrant colors that coexist in it. All the wildlife from tigers and leopards to monkeys and tree frogs. All these things that we've known to enjoy, though, can be on their way out due to deforestation. You may not realize it, but you're the reason it's happening. Three main points we're going to talk about today are what deforestation is, why forests are so valuable to us, and the consequences of deforestation. Now, some may say that deforestation is necessary because of the way we live our lives. They say that we need wood for housing and land for farming, but if they really think that they have not done any research whatsoever. Deforestation is the clearance of a forest where the land is thereafter converted to non forest use. Some examples of deforestation are converting forest land to farms, ranches, or urban use. Right now, deforestation is one of our biggest issues. It's like a modern day plague. According to the National Geographic, forests still cover about 30% of the world's land area. But areas half the size of England are lost every year. At the rate we are going right now, forests could be completely vanished in 100 years. The biggest reason for deforestation is agriculture. All types of agriculture make up about 80% of deforestation. Farmers cut down forests so they have more room for crops and grazing livestock. Logging operations are also another factor in the process of deforestation. They provide the world's wood and paper products and cut down countless trees every year. The most concentrated deforestation occurs in tropical rainforests, one of the most important things in our world. That brings me to my next topic. Uh, why forests are so valuable to us? Rainforests are home to millions of different species. 70% of Earth's animals Land animals and plants live in forests. To put it into perspective, what if we got rid of all the oceans, 70% of the earth? What would that look like? There are still possibly millions of plant and animal species that are yet to be discovered. And according to globalcitizen.org, 137 animal species are exterminated every day. A huge reason why rainforests are so valuable to us is because of the medicine they provide. Over a quarter of the medicines we use today have their origins in rainforests. And shockingly enough, only about 1% of rain, uh, rainforest plants have been examined for the medicinal properties. So if we keep the rainforest and continue looking into the medicinal properties of the other 99%, it's uh, out of this world to think that the cure to try diseases like cancer, malaria, HIV are all available. Rainforests also play a big part in the water cycle. They regulate it by grounding the water in their roots and releasing it into the atmosphere. In the Amazon, more than half of the water in the ecosystem is held within the plants. The destruction of this would cause the climate to become drier and make growing food impossible for many, cutting off a lot of our food supply. Climate change, another huge problem right now, would also be sped up because trees are a main source of taking in carbon dioxide, and without them, it only make things worse. Speaking of making things worse, we can now talk about the consequences of deforestation. 80% of the world's uh, animals live in some type of forest, and many cannot survive with, uh, with uh, deforestation. Like I talked about before, the land will become dry, and trees, and without trees, and one screen forest will become a barren desert. And, and for human life quality in the surrounding area, it is bad too. Still, it can get into lakes and streams because of soil erosion, and it can lead to poor water quality, causing health problems. All this is shown to us by life science. So overall, we'd be losing animals, medicine, food, trees, health quality, useful land, and the list goes on. We talked. We first talked about what deforestation is and how big of an issue it is. Then we talked about why forests are so valuable to us and all the key things they provide us. And we finished off with talking about the consequences of deforestation and all the things we would lose. So after hearing all of this, I hope you can see how big of a problem it is and I hope that you make an effort into helping with the solutions. If